Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a look at the recent Scouting for Toys TV show that looks behind the scenes at Vectis auctions and also my experiences as a buyer buying from Vectis for the very first time. So without further ado, sit back, relax and let's get to it. So there's been a recent TV series that's been shown on the Yesterday channel here in the UK. It's a BBC produced documentary series and it's over 10 parts and each part looks behind the scenes at the Vectis auction house based in Stockton on Tees. Now each episode tends to focus on one particular area of collecting. Topics covered include Star Wars, a superb matchbox toy collection, Meccano, Action Man, old teddy bears, Barbie dolls, general die cast and train sets, Subutio, dolls houses, Lego, that sort of thing. I found the staff who work there really that their passion for their chosen areas of expertise shine through, and this was evident in each episode. They share their history and how they got into collecting and how they ended up working for Vectis. It is a very busy place, with future auctions being worked on all the time. We get to see other sides of the business as well, such as the postage and packing team, the photography team, the marketing, and overall, keeping a check on it all is managing director Vicky. Now, it was interesting to see the bidders in the room, older customers at the, the train auctions, which were not very well attended, two very lively auction rooms with a younger clientele for like the Matchbox, General TV film, and Star Wars sales. Now, due to the nature of the series, the filmmaking team could only cover what was passed to Vectis to auction during the time that they were there. But I think they got a really good cross-section of the different sorts of things that Vectis deal with on a daily basis. On the back of the series, I decided to finally take the plunge and give Vectis a try and see if I could win anything myself at auction. Now, although I have a small wants list for vintage Star Wars items, there's not been anything that's come out recently Star Wars-wise that I wanted to bid on. They did, however, have a pretty decent matchbox car collection, and I found a few lots that I liked the look of. What you need to do is head to the Vectis website and create a free account. And then, if you do intend to bid, add your credit or debit card to your profile. You can then peruse the auction catalogue online, bookmark what you're interested in, and favourite it, and then come back to view everything that you've bookmarked on a single page. It's worth pointing out that you can go back years to see previous auction catalogues and see what items have sold for. This is really useful if you're doing your research. It's then easy to put your bids in ahead of auction day. If you haven't put enough in and have been instantly outbid, the system will tell you. If you are the highest bidder at that point, you'll see that on the screen and you'll just need to wait until the auction closes to see if you end up winning. I placed quite a few bids and several were instantly outbid. I did, however, get lucky with a few. It's funny, but all the lots I did win, I didn't spend my maximum bid. I was pleased to see that you just pay the next incremental bid in the sequence, which is exactly how it should be. Now, the day of the auction, you can actually view the bidding live via the Vectis webcam, which is pretty cool. Just go to the website on the day of the auction and you'll see each lot going through the system. Now, the excitement is almost like being in the room, and I really enjoyed this. I was glad I had already placed my bids, though. All I had to do was sit back and watch the lots get sold off. The day after the auction, I received an invoice detailing everything I had won, the total to pay, and to say the payment would be charged to my card that day, which it was. They totaled up all the winning bids, then added the buyer's commission plus VAT, which was an additional 25%. Ouch! I then had to wait until the packing team could get to my parcel. On the invoice, it did say to allow up to 21 days. The auction finished on the 24th of May. Payment was taken the next day, the 25th of May. Goods actually received the 15th of June, so pretty much the full 21 days wait. I did look at the calendar, it was 20 days. In an age when shipping and having to wait much longer than a few days for an item is a thing of the past, this three-week wait was by far the worst part of the experience. The items were well packed, boxed and then boxed again, then sent next day before 1pm delivery. Now I've already waited virtually three weeks, a few more hours wouldn't really have made much difference as the postage was £11.70, which I believe is pretty much at cost. If there's one piece of advice I would give Vectis, it's please get another person or two working on sending the parcels out. I, for one, would not go bidding on another auction until I had my winnings from a previous auction safely delivered. In this day and age, three weeks is just too long to wait. 
Hakes in the USA get this part done in a week. I'm just saying. Anyway, apart from the postage issue, the rest of the experience was fine and I shall be using Vectis again in the future. Just remember, if you are bidding, that bar is commissioned to pay, plus be prepared to wait to receive the goods. So there you go. That's my experience of buying from Vectis for the first time. I definitely will be doing it again, and hopefully uh, it won't be quite as uh, such a long wait for the parcel to actually be delivered. But I would imagine on the back of the TV show, they're getting a lot more interest in their auctions of late um, because people are seeing them and, and it's almost like a 10-part a extended advert, isn't it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching today. If you've not already, do please hit that subscribe button. Do please give it the thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and leave a comment below with your experiences with Vectis. Thanks very much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.